What's up, Fire Family? What's up, what's up, what's up? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition, and I am here to see um, what spirit wants you guys to know. So we're going to do a monthly forecast. I know I haven't did a monthly forecast in a couple months, but in this reading, I'm going to look at um, September's energy. So we are going to look at um, the energy that is shifting in, like coming in September, what you guys need to let go of, your finances, career, um, love, where you guys are currently blocked at. Um, good things coming in for you guys and pretty much the overall energy, okay? Um, this reading is also available on my um, website, fireintuition.com. If this is something that you guys are interested in. But like I said, it's been a while and I was like, you know what? I was like, September is feeling really good. So let's see what's going on with you guys in September. All right. Um, let's see what's going on. Collective. Keep in mind that this is a general. It is a collective reading. It's for all zodiac signs. Um... So do take what resonates, if it resonates with you. If it does resonate, share, go some love, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Alright, let's see, universe, what messages do you have for the collective for the month of September? What do they need to know in the month of September? Do you need messages for the energy coming towards them? What they need to let go of and release and surrender to? Their finances and career? Love, all the good things coming towards them. All right, so let's see, let's see y'all. Would it be good? queen of pentacles then i say september felt good so this is the energy that is shifting in i do love this queen of pentacles so not only is queen of pentacles about money and stability and growth it's also about you grounding yourself the queen of pentacles is a very loving and nurturing energy it's also commitment it's you focus on your children home um taking care of bills this thing is kind of falling into place for you guys so some of you guys are probably are possibly catching up or are catching up on you know like bills you guys are spending more time with your children um, some of you guys, it's your birthday month, so happy birthday, Virgo, but you guys just feel very grounded. Like, I feel like you guys are going to be in a good place out in nature and just spending more time with the self, okay? But like in a way where you're like loving and nurturing yourself and really taking care of you, all right? So that is the energy that's coming in. Let's see what you guys are needing to release and let go of for the month of September. Collective energy. We have the world card. So there's the cycle ending. So I feel like whatever this is, it's just, it's just going to end for you guys. Something is going to end regardless. I'm not going to say regardless if you want it to end or not. But you guys are wrapping up or completing some type of cycle and going into a new cycle. So I feel like whatever you guys that go of, walk away from, or end this month, it was either meant to happen that way or you are choosing to end that cycle and go towards a new beginning, opening up a new door, something like that. All right. Um, let's see where you guys are at within your finances and career. Where's the collective at when it comes to their finances? I just want one card. Finances. Alright, give me one message for your career. Messages for the career when it comes to the collective. Alright, so finances, we have the page of pentacles. Your career, we had two cards. Mm, I don't know, guys. Um, not bad, but the ten of swords, five of cups. There may be something within your career, like something's not going your way it's something you don't like and i feel like that's what's ending with the world card when i said there's something that you guys need to let go of all right let's see let's see what's going on in love messages for love two came out as well six of pentacles three of pentacles reverse something that wasn't working out could possibly come back together and work out if somebody is willing to put the effort in um, for others of you, you're going towards something that is a better equal give and take, like the person or whoever it is new or if there's somebody in your life, it's like they're they're going to start giving more to the relationship. You're going to be giving less and it's not that you're not going to be giving to the relationship at all, but it's like they're going to start giving more than they were before and you're not going to have to give so much to the relationship, but we're going to see because when we clarify, things can change. 
All right, let's see where you guys are from. You block that for the month of September. We have the Two of Swords, so kind of feeling stuck at a crossroads, trying to figure things out, trying to figure mine. Let's see what good is coming towards you guys for the month of September. I don't remember if the star was in reverse on the upright, so I just put it back in the deck. And I'm going to shuffle up again, guys. Just to be fair, if I really did, I didn't see it. I wasn't looking. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't be mad at me. All right, let's see the good coming towards you guys for the month of September. We have the Seven of Pentacles. All right, so the fruits of your labor, something paying off. Look, you guys are getting justice, truth, and clarity. Um, mm, This is good. Okay. And then let's see what the overall energy is. We have the sun. Love it. Freaking love it. All right, because the sun is the most positive card in the deck. So you guys are shining a light on a lot of different things. A lot of things are about to shift and change. A lot of you guys are going to be happy this month. They're going towards happiness. Okay, so you're going to just be in a better place emotionally, mentally, physically, and even spiritually, I feel. Look, we have a huge shift in your energy with the Ace of Wands. Anything that was like dark or clouding your mind or just had you stuck or in fear, you guys are shifting out of that energy with the moon and the Ace of Wands. A lot of action being taken, a lot of communication. You guys are heading down a new path and direction. I do love that judgment to reverse with this energy here because you guys are aware of this new path. You're aware of the lessons that you guys went through. So some of you guys went through some lessons and maybe it was hard for you guys to understand or you were feeling like, why am I going through this? Why am I dealing with this? Why does it have to be me? Why am I going through a lot of stuff? And you're starting to see things a lot more clearly with the sun. So you're realizing something. If it was a loss when it comes to your career, your business, your finances, you're seeing why. So maybe with the judgment card reverse, overspending, doing something Focusing too much on materialism or things that you didn't really need or just spending your money just because you had it. So now you're balancing your money, fixing uh, fixing things like paying off bills, debt, credit, stuff like that. If it's a relationship, then it's kind of like you're seeing that, you know, like you guys were in a repeated cycle with somebody and that it takes more than one person um, to want a relationship to work out, meaning that for some of you, you could have been focused on what they need to change but needed to make and make an adjust like changes to yourself and your life and things that you are doing as well. So maybe not seeing like your flaws or you're wrong in the relationship because we all have them. Okay. So no one's perfect. Um, it could just be a lot of different things, but we're going to see. We're going to clarify and see. Okay. So let's hop in y'all. Let's see what spirit wants you guys to know for the month of September. See, why is the Queen of Pentacles here for the energy that is coming in for September? This is also um, Virgo energy because it's the Queen of Pentacles. I'm not going to say it's Virgo energy, but we are in Virgo season. But this is for all of you guys, not just for um, Virgo. So we have the Eight of Cups reverse. Okay. Energy that is coming in. I like this though. The Eight of Cups reverse with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So some of you guys took a loss. Okay. And you guys are really stressed out. You guys took a loss. You guys are healing from something financially. You guys are healing your finances or healing your like your relationship, your home life, something like that. Because we have a Queen of Pentacles and she embodies a lot of different things. Finances, money, home, children, all that type of stuff. Something had you really stressed out or you guys were really stressed out in the home and it was due to some type of loss. But with the Eight of Cups and Retrograde coming up in the month of September, it's really good because something is going to go back to how it was. Things are going to go back to how they were. And I see this Eight of Cups in versus something positive, okay? I don't see this anything bad. I see it as something positive. And I see that you guys were in a cycle of, like, sadness, stress. Like, when am I going to get my money back up? When is when are my finances going to come? When is my relationship going to come back together? You know, for some of you guys, possibly, like, missing your children, children stressing you out, a lot of different things. But something is going back to normal, whatever it is, regardless if it's children, your finances, your relationship, you focusing on yourself, something is going back to how it was. So retrograde, I'm going to say this, is not always about love. It's it Retrograde is for us to go back and look at details. It's 
for us to get those opportunities that we missed out on. It's for us to reflect back on things that we didn't pay attention to at that time, fixing or correcting the situation or fixing something. How can I go about it this time? How can I do things differently? If I would have did it this way, you know, I would have got these results. So it doesn't always have to be love, but we throw that in a collective because retrograde is or can relate to love situations as well. But in this case, something is going back to normal or going back to how it was and it's bringing you the Ten of Cups and it was something that you guys are persevering through. So you guys were going through a lot. There was a lot of challenges, whatever it is. Something was really blocking your happiness, your Ten of Cups. You know what I'm saying? Or you were just on the fence, guarded, going off, all type of things. But whatever it is, that is changing. Things are going back to normal. Okay? Let's see why the... Uh, world card is here because this is something that you guys are needing to let go of or move past. So that's how I'm saying the cycle is ending. Something is ending in your life. And it's for the better. See, look. Wow. Love it. What did I tell y'all? I cannot make this shit up. Y'all know this shit and y'all need to know it. Trust and believe in yourself and have faith. Okay? Because when we do not trust and believe and have faith and love ourselves, we stop and block our abundance. Other people can do it, but we have more control over other people. Okay, so this is what is ending. This is what you guys are letting go of in the month of September. The Empress in reverse is insecure. She's sad. She's not manifesting. You know, she's losing hope. She's losing faith. She's not trusting in herself. She's not trusting in her abilities. You know, she's slacking on like her motherly duties. And trust me, we all do it. We're normal. So it's just like now what's going back to normal is like you're focusing back on your children. You're focusing back on your home, your business. Things are going to start shifting and changing with this Empress in reverse in the world card. This is the cycle that you guys are coming out of. Some of you guys were just sick. Some of you guys are torn. Maybe stuck on someone, stuck on something. You know, feeling like you don't have no friends or no love or people around you, no support. All that is changing. And I love that with the Empress in reverse. I'm glad that she came out. Look, you're letting go. Stop fighting. You're dropping your wand. Seven of wands in reverse. You're not giving up on yourself, but you're giving up on the things or the people or places or things, people, places, and things that stress you, that wear you out. That broke you down. You're you're letting go of that. And you're slowly coming back. Some stuff is not even worth arguing and fighting about. Just move on and move past. Just move past it. Move on from it. Don't even give it your attention anymore. Just move on. You know, it's not even important no more. Or it's not even important. It's not relevant. Okay? So let's pull from um, the Surrender Oracle deck. Let's see, what does the collective need to surrender to for the month of September? Why is this Empress in reverse? Clarify this Empress in reverse. Yeah, so the world, y'all are coming out of that energy and it's about time. Surrender is stubbornness. So some of you guys could be stubborn. And it says, if you are tensing up, are taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovely with others and yourself. So some of you guys are even being stubborn towards yourself. Okay. So your higher self can be telling you to do something and you don't want to do it. You want to be stubborn, stay stubborn, or be stuck in this stubborn energy, okay, or in some type of stubborn energy. For others of you, you're being stubborn towards somebody else, but it's not helping you grow and evolve, though, because you're, like, being mean or being stubborn or just stuck in this energy. Why is the Empress in reverse? Surrender your fear of change. So remember, Taurus is a fixed sign. We also have Libra here. Some of you guys could be a fixed sign, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, but... This is a collective reading. So it says, the universe is remind, reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you are afraid of a change in your job, your health, or relationship, or if you fear aging or death. Repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Some of you guys did take a loss in your business career. Your finances have been coming in slow. Or you're not really making money. Or it's like your relationship has been up and down. Or you're just tired of compromising or giving in. But what you're fearing is change. So you're going through this because you need to allow some type of change. The change is going to bring in better. But you feel like the change is going to bring in worse. Or make the situation worse. Because I feel like with the stubbornness cards, you want things to go your way or be your way. You want some type of change to go or be your way. If it's your business, it's like you want to go from having no money to 10000 in a week. And that's possible. But... If you're the empress in reverse and being stubborn and fearing change or not allowing yourself to change something in the situation, how is that going to happen? All right. So let's see what the overall energy is. Surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So for some of you guys, you could be being stubborn because you feel like you need to set some type of boundaries or somebody is, is not 
understanding you or somebody can't take no for an answer or somebody is overstepping your boundaries, okay? And that can be what it is too. So reset your boundaries. If somebody is overstepping your boundaries and disrespecting you, then you need to think about should that person be in my life? Is that person worth being in my life? Because if I say no, no is no. If I set boundaries and they walk over them, that means they're disrespecting me. That means that they don't respect my boundaries, my space, how I feel. So that's something that you may need to ask yourself. And instead of being stubborn, you may need to allow some type of change. Whether they're in your life or not, something needs to change. Because if not, then it's always going to be that way. Okay? You guys need to surrender to your full power. Take back your control. All right? Or take back control of the situation. Um, when it comes to your finances, we have the page of pentacles. So I do see some type of opportunity coming in. It might be something small, but let's see how this unfolds. Like, so the page of pentacles is something small. It's not a lot. It's something slow coming in, you know, um, like money here and there, you know. If you're getting a raise or a promotion, not to say like that, but the page of pentacles is like a quarter, 50 cents. It's nothing big, but it is something. Let's see, finances, judgment, and the high priestess. Don't misjudge a situation, okay? Um, and then for others of you, when it comes to your boss, they feel like they made the right choice. You may feel differently, but they made the right choice for right now. And their plan is to put you, are they going to put you in a better situation? But don't misjudge what they're doing right now, okay? So, so the energy or something could have shifted or changed at your job, okay? And... It's like things are going well, and you can feel like, dang, like this person, like my manager, like they just, they're acting funny towards me. Like, I thought we were cool, you know, but they're making, what they're making changes, but they're doing what's best for everybody involved. All right, for everybody. But you will see eventually the changes that are, that they are making is going to be for your best and highest good. All right, with the high priestess here, but they're not telling you that right now. Some of you guys, um, with the nine of wands when it comes to your finances yeah you guys were going through a lot you guys are coming out of a, a cycle um yeah look finances were very stagnant um but we have a nine of wands that you're coming out of this cycle very soon some of you guys are holding on to your money and that is also a lesson for you guys as well i'm not saying spend your money but when you hold on too tight to money or you spend in fear you stop and block more money from coming in okay so that's a huge lesson for somebody if a bill is doing you got the money pay it don't wait till they give you a notice or they're about to cut it off. And then you got late fees or you got to make a payment arrangement or something. Like, it's whatever this is with your finances, this is teaching you a lot. Or it's telling you, like, it's okay to spend money, but don't spend it all at one place or don't spend it all because, oh, I got it kind of thing, you know? But I want to get a clear message with the finance part. So let's just put one more card. We have the Eight of Swords. A lot of you guys are in your head about your finances. And I feel like until you guys get out of your head about your finances, there won't be there won't be some type of change. OK, but I do strongly feel that there is an opportunity or there is something coming in for you guys in the month of September when it comes to your money. You don't see it. And I see more of like anger and frustration with the nine of wands and the eight of swords. But you have put yourself in that energy. OK, um, we have the queen of swords. Yeah, when you guys clear your mind, you'll start to see things differently. You'll be able to talk and communicate more about your finances. Some of you guys are just like so frustrated and angry that you guys may do or say the wrong thing at a job interview. So watch your words and how you're saying things. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Um, but then you guys also have to get out of this what, lack mentality. Queen of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. So that's why I said you guys are the shit you guys need to know it. Don't let nobody tell you anything different or don't doubt yourself or keep yourself in this energy. Because everything that's going on with you guys, for some of you guys, it's it's there's a lot of self sabotage here or you put yourself in this mental prison or you just don't trust and believe in yourself and you're doubting yourself okay you will hear good news the messages are coming in about your money with the page of swords you guys will hear from somebody after um next week or next week you guys will because that's communication coming in fast it's not as fast as like the knight of swords though but it is coming in all right um let's look at your career we have the ten of swords with the five of swords so some of you guys did take some type of loss but you are going towards something new that's better um where you can be a lot more creative all right where people are going to love your ideas or you guys are going to come up with an idea or something that people are going to love it can be a product it can be an idea it can be something for your job and people are going to love it and it's going to be good for you guys okay so focus on that i feel in the month of september 
Um, yeah, see, look, it's going to pay off for you guys. And if you're, it's going to help your money increase. It's going to help your money increase or it's going to give you that raise and promotion that you guys are wanting. All right. Um, and like I said, at the end of the day, everybody's going to love your idea, love this this new part, whatever you're launching, doing whatever. When it comes to work, something that's finally paying off, you are going to be rewarded big because we have the lovers here with the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles in reverse. Money increasing or this money coming in, you know, or a lot of orders or a lot of appointments or whatever you do, it's coming in back to back to back. Um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because all the money that I'm not going to say that was owed to you, but all the money that was trying to come into you, it couldn't come into you because you were in the five of pentacles. Now you're out of this lack mentality and now you're able to allow the money to come in because you did the work, you put the work in. You were just frustrated because you weren't seeing the fruits of your labor. Okay. But now that is changing because you're going to see the fruits of your labor or you're going to be rewarded for the hard work and everything you did. And we have it with the lovers here. Look, like I said, people are going to love your ideas, your product, whatever you're doing. All right. But again, you put yourself here. You were thinking the worst when the universe was aligning something for you. And by you thinking the worst, you weren't seeing what was coming towards you because you allowed yourself to be blocked. But now with the hey man, you're seeing something from a different or higher perspective. And you're coming out of this blockage. And whatever you were holding on to, you're not. Because you're shining a light on things and you're seeing things a lot differently. And this is like happiness and joy. Or even if your days are down or you're sad, you're still finding happiness. Or you're still going to be happy about something. Showing more gratitude. The sun is there. The sun is there twice. So I do love this though for you guys because a lot of things are about to shift and change. Um, when it comes to your finances for sure. Alright. I left my Angel of Abundance Oracle in my in the other room. So give me one second because I want to get it so I can pull the Angel of Abundance Oracle for you guys. Alright. Give me two seconds y'all. I'll be right back. Alright y'all. I'm back. I've only got all the decks that I needed. Alright. So let's see. Universe and Spirit. Please give me messages for the collective. When it comes to their finances and career. What messages do you have for the collective? We have blackout distractions and pay yourself first. So that makes sense. And then look, we have successful funding. So some of you guys are going to get the funding, a loan, a business loan, um, or like the universe is going to bless you guys in all types of ways. But you're going to get the funding that you need to do something. Or it's like you have the money coming in. Okay? But it says do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. All right? So... You got to, like, really believe in yourself, guys. Um, you have to really have a lot of faith and trust. Like, the universe is going to bring it to you. And it shouldn't matter how they're going to bring it to you. Just know it's coming. We have blackout distractions. Okay? So, it says that you guys are needing to really block out distractions, whether it's being online, people, places, things. All right? It says at the bottom, you already know that these distractions, what these distractions are. And you have the power to responsibly block them out. So I'm not going to read the full message, but it's just saying, like, block out your distractions and pay yourself first. It's all right to pay yourself first. Um, do something for yourself, guys. Whatever it may be, you know, just pay yourself first. Start putting your money up or do something for yourself. Um, it's going to definitely shift your energy and change your energy, believe it or not. I'm not saying go spend big or do nothing crazy. It can be something little, you know, but go treat yourself. Go do something small. Go do something for yourself. Okay, treat yourself. Don't treat yourself, all right? Pay yourself first. It can be anything, all right? It doesn't have to be, like I said, something major. But let's pull one more card. Organize for success. And this was actually under the successful funding. So it says organize for success. So set, your guys, set yourself up for success. Organize. That means start to declutter. Get your schedule clear. You know, set your intention. Start manifesting. Do all that stuff because a lot of things are about to shift and change. But you need to be organized, prepared, and ready for it. All right, collective, you got to be ready. It's not going to just, it doesn't always just fall into your lap, okay? When we manifest, sometimes we got to manifest hard, go hard. It's not going to always just happen like that, okay? But you guys have to be open to receiving as well. And it says, it is safe for you to receive. So know it is safe for you guys to receive, okay? Let's look at this love situation. Let's see. So we have the Six of Pentacles um, with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Like I said, a lot of you guys are going to start receiving more from somebody. Somebody that just, you know, just wasn't willing to give in. They didn't want to compromise. They could act like they didn't want the relationship. Maybe they were making things difficult. For some of you guys, could have been third party or they just didn't want to commit to anybody. But if not, it's like you guys could have been together 
Yeah, see, somebody wasn't making or putting the effort into a relationship. Let's see what else you got. The strength card is in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Damn, so what's going on with this person? Somebody couldn't give their all to you because they were busy giving into another relationship and that's why they couldn't commit to you and they just didn't have the courage to tell you that. The trade card reverse sometimes can be somebody with no backbone. Like they just, they don't have the courage. They're not speaking up. They're not telling you. And instead, they rather just be cold and distant and detached and, you know, become emotionally unavailable and just not say nothing and not speak up on it. So some of you guys are kind of wondering, like, where did the relationship go wrong or why did our relationship go wrong or why are they not reaching out? Why are they not giving in to me no more? And that can be it as well. But let's pull some more cards on love really quick. The Nine of Cups Reverse and the High Priestess. You guys, some of you guys are in a relationship with somebody or dealing with somebody and deep down inside they're not really making you happy. And they're, they're coming up as like somebody that is like, they act like they don't care. So like in September, this is stressing you guys out. Like, come on now, use your intuition, follow your, follow your intuition, listen to your higher self. Some of you guys are just not happy, but you're having a hard time accepting that you need to move on. They're, this person, for some of you guys that's resonating with this love part, they're not going to give you what you want. And they're going to just keep stressing you out, stressing themselves out. And it's not worth it. I feel like it's not worth it. Let's pull from out what's really going on. Work with it so I can see what's really going on. Because it looks like there's too much going on in this situation. And I feel like you guys know what you need to do. Or you know you need to like move on. But it's like you're not even... It's like you know this person, like you, I feel like you like them or you could love them, but I feel like deep down inside, the like you know this person doesn't make you happy. You're shattered, you're hurt. You're the nine of, they're like their energy is the nine of cups reverse. Ghosted. So that can be why. So maybe this person ghosted you and that's why you're feeling like this. But it's just, it's just saying that it's time to let something go. But you guys are hoping that this person is coming in with good intentions. But again, the cards are telling you guys to move on. Okay? So... The love purse, I mean, the love part may not be for the whole collective. It's only, it could be for 10 of you, five of you guys, okay? If you're, if you are doing good and you're happy in your love life, then ignore this message, okay? We have losing interest. So I feel like as soon as you guys do lose interest or, you know, you're going to eventually start losing interest, they're going to start sending you guys DMs. But I would just go with the moving on and the ghosted because, like, I feel like this, like, you ghosted me. Like, for real, for real. Like, so I'm not even about to give in to that energy. You know, like somebody that goes through and plays you and like doesn't want to tell you how they feel or keep you in third parties and stuff like that. Like sometimes they could come back in with good intentions. But I would just focus on honestly and low key how I feel, my opinion. Some of you guys just got a lot going on financially and you guys are building yourself back up and I would make that my main priority. I would make me, you a priority first before this love situation or anything else because the more you put into you the more you focus on you the that that money and everything else is going to start coming in trust me okay so if they want to go shoot go say asses right back bye you know what i'm saying give them the deuces because you ain't got no fucking time we ain't doing that in september the year is almost over we don't got time for that they had nine months to get it right Okay, so let's see why the two of swords is here or where you guys are blocked. The two of swords could be you guys stuck at a crossroads really trying to figure things out. This in two different minds. You know, maybe you just got a lot on your mind. Let's see why is the two of swords here. The four of swords and the four of cups reverse. Yeah, so I feel like where you're blocked is like your mind, like something is telling you to move on. Something is telling you that you guys need to take a break, rest, let go of something and move on so that better can come in. You guys need to free yourself from whatever, whoever you're attached to. It doesn't have to be love, but you need to break yourself free. And that's where you're stuck. That's where you're blocked at because you don't know what you need to let go of. So, for example, say if this is like a relationship, you could be dealing with two, three different people. And I'm not saying you're messing with all of them physically or even sexually, but it could be that maybe you met somebody new, but then somebody that you were in love with came back. But then you met somebody online. I don't know. Like you're confused and you know you need to let one of them go. Okay. So do that. Stop. You don't. You can unblock yourself and stop stressing out by letting go of who you know you need to let go of. All right. If it is a business, maybe you have multiple business. Maybe something is not working out in your business, and you need to accept letting that go, so that something better can come in for you. Once you break yourself free from that and let it go, a lot of changes and a lot of things are gonna start to happen for you guys. 
but you got to let it go first. And I feel like it's something that you really love or you really want to do within your business or with somebody, but you fear letting it go because you have emotionally attached yourself to it. But it's saying it's time for it's time for you to move forward so something better can come in. The chariot is about success and victory. Look, good news. Look, and it's going to change fast. Look, look. So whatever you're letting go of, whether it's a relationship, money, whatever, friendships, whatever, you're getting like it's coming in like something way better is coming in. That's all I can tell you guys. And that's what I keep seeing up there. But let's pull the blockage card and see. Let's pull a blockage card and see. Let's pull the blockage card and see. I'm sorry, guys. Um, this is important. Um... I was going to talk to you guys about it too, but I decided not to, but, um, I'll talk to you guys about it probably, or I might make a video on it or just talk about it in the comments or whatever, um, or on the community tab. But I was just checking on my son with his teacher because my son had an incident. Um, Connor had an incident where his teacher put his hands on him and I was like, I was so hurt y'all because y'all know I have three kids. For those of you that follow me, y'all know I have three boys and I have not ever once had any of my kids ever come to me and tell me that somebody has touched him or made them feel uncomfortable. They didn't touch him, like, sexually. They actually put their hands on him because, I will admit, Connor could have, like, a little tantrum at times or whine about certain stuff. But he's in first grade. He's sick, so he's adjusting. And he's used to me. He's used to me and his dad. So it's just like, I don't know. But I had the teacher. Um, I had the teacher. She let me text her. And, um... I just checked in to see how his day was going. So she had told me that he's having a great day because I had them switch his teacher out. So since he had his teacher switched um, yesterday, he's just been great. Like, like he came home like super happy. And I should have knew something was wrong because he had came home last week and he just wasn't himself. And he even like flipped out on me. And like Connor is not my problem child. So I was just like, hmm. I was like, what is this? I thought it was just something in the, you know, in the air. I'm like, is something going on astrologically? I pulled out his birth chart. I'm like... I'm looking at some moon around, I'm looking at the chart, I'm like, is something going on? But he just wasn't happy, and I don't feel like he knew how to fully express himself. But when she put her hands on him, he made it very clear what happened was very detailed and everything. And it just, like, broke my heart. Um, I know some of y'all don't care, but I'm sharing anyway. Um, so that's why I had to stop and like, look at that message before we put into this blockage card. Because um, it's very important for us to pay attention to our children and things that are going on in their life and when they're switching their moods up and you know changing and if they're not normally their self like you know it's good to sit down and talk to them and get to the root of the situation so i'm glad that i did and i figured it out and i was able to you know what i'm saying quickly correct the situation but let's go back to you guys and let's look at this blockage here okay so let's see where is the collective block that what is their current blockage for the month of september so we have loneliness i know that i am never alone so for some of you guys you guys feel lonely. You feel alone. Okay. Um, what's at the bottom? We have fear. So fear could be holding you guys back. But let me see why you guys feel lonely. Some of you guys could be letting a relationship affect you. Um, or maybe you guys are just feeling lonely. Like you guys feel like you don't have no support, no family, no friends. No one loves you. No one cares. And that's not true. So let's see why loneliness is here. Why are you guys blocked with loneliness? Because some of you guys are refusing to heal, though. There's a situation that you guys are needing to heal. And it's, the healing card is in reverse. So some of you guys are refusing to heal. Look, and that's what's stopping and blocking your flow of abundance, too. So you guys just kind of feel alone. You guys could be feeling hurt, kind of feeling like you got played. You know, just kind of feeling like no one cares. You know, um, your pride or your, like, your pride can be in the way. Okay? Or your ego. And when our ego gets in the way, it can cause some problems, okay? Some of you guys are um, having a, a problem with communication or waiting for some type of communication. But remember I told you in about individuality. You guys really need to focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I know, like, friends, love, family, all that type of stuff, like, you guys want that. But maybe it's meant for you guys to be alone right now and be in this lonely energy. 
so that you guys could turn the situation around or heal or forgive somebody and so that your abundance can come in. You guys really do need to focus on yourself. That's why I said, and then communication will be better. Put that pride and ego to the side. Tell it bye. Like, you don't have time. Okay? And also follow and trust your intuition. But like I was saying, um, guys, like, seriously, like, focus on yourself and make your... Make your finances, make yourself and your finances your main priority, then love and everything is going to flow in. But even taking out the financial part, put yourself first for a change. Do that for you. Because if you do that, everything is going to shift and change. Look, and what you guys need the most, change. Okay? So, some of you guys are on a timeout. And that's why you feel lonely. And during this timeout, it's time for you guys to be creative and forgive. Look, there's somebody in your life that you need to forgive. You haven't talked to this person in like 96 days, nine months. Some of you guys haven't talked to this person nine to the left, almost a year, 10 months ago. Something happened last year towards the end of the year, December, January. Hmm. Some of you guys are needing for, to forgive somebody. Like really bad. And it's blocking your creativity. It's blocking you from healing. It's doing a lot. But during this time out, you are needing to forgive somebody and forgive yourself. And then it's like your creati creativity and change and everything is going to come in. All right? Do not give someone that much power. All right? Um, we have the seven of pentacles. And that is a good coming in. So remember I told you guys, you guys are going to be rewarded for something that you guys put a lot of work or hard work into. So let's go into the seven of pentacles. The moon is here, so expect the unexpected. Nine of Pentacles, things slowly turning around and changing. The Three of Swords. That's what you guys are needing to come out of. This Three of Swords energy with that Five of Cups up there. Because some of you guys are just like so torn and just hurt. And you just feel like it's never going to be your turn. Um, and you just feel like, dang, like, why is everything moving so slow for me? Or why is nothing happening or going in my way? Well, let's see. There was some, thing, there was some injustice. And you know who or what it is. Somebody did something to you guys. Somebody treated you badly, lied to you, mistreated you. Or there was some type of injustice here. And I feel like you know who it is and you know why things have slowed down. Your intuition has been screaming at you about something or about someone. Hmm, go on to the justice in reverse. Look, you're going to be rewarded. You're going to get all your... Like, somebody did something or you were mistreated and... If you were, whatever happened with justice in reverse, the high priestess wants you to know that, like, it's all going to come back. Like, your intuition is telling you that it's, everything's going to come back and you're going to be on top. And I like the fact that the nine of pentacles is nine and we are in September. And that is the ninth month of the, um, that's the ninth, that's the ninth month. But I also just see a lot of money coming in for you guys. Yep, you guys are coming. I remember I told you guys on the nine to the ten. So something was, is finally ending for you guys. And now you guys can go towards this abundance. Ooh, I don't like that energy. There could have been a lover that was jealous of you guys, that was being very negative, or that didn't care about, like, your goals, and they didn't care about, like, your business, your job, things that you were doing. And it could have slowed you down, but now it's not anymore. For others of you, somebody is obsessed in... They're obsessed with you in a way where, like, it has become their everyday life. This can be, like, a follower, subscriber. It can be a friend, family member, something like that. And even though it's somebody close to you, though. And even though they say they love you and they care about you, that could be true. But they are your worst enemy. So you need to be very careful. Somebody is jealous of the things that you have, the person that you are, who you are, what you got, what you're doing, and stuff like that. So be careful. All right. And I feel like you guys have been feeling some type of way. And every time you're around this person, your energy is very heavy or like your day goes from good to bullshit or something like that. But I feel like either you had a dream about this lover or this friend or family member or person or it's like one day you could just been sitting there and your intuition could have told you like, mm -mm, don't trust them. I wonder if they're doing something to me. I wonder if they're hating on me. But you're going to get good out of this situation. Somebody was. Somebody definitely had the evil eye. OK, so with the sun. A lot of good things are shifting in with the sun. So let's see why the sun is here. 
you're shining a light on a lot of things in your life. Look, wow. And you're, look, oh, I love it. We're ending the reading with the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Get it, bitch. Love it, okay? Get it. Didn't I tell y'all earlier? I told you this is my third time telling y'all. Y'all are the shit, and y'all need to know it. Y'all know it. But y'all just let fear and other people and things and places hold you back. The Ten of, I mean, the Queen of Wands and the Ten, you are going places. You're doing things. And the sun is right behind you to back you up. You deserve this blessing. You do. You deserve it all. Okay? You deserve it. So it is coming. It is coming towards you guys. Okay? It is definitely coming towards you guys. Okay? I love it. Let's see what's at the um, top and at the bottom of the deck. So look. Love this. Look. Will of Fortune is here with the Ace of Wands. Shit is about to change. People really gonna hate you. People really gonna be mad. They say if you don't have no haters, you ain't popping. But this is like, they big mad. Okay? Let them be mad. Hell. What's meant for you is meant for you. But just trust and believe in yourself. That's that's the biggest thing here. They can do all they want. Say all they want. Just stay grounded. Protect yourself, your energy, and live. Okay? That's our reading, guys, for September. September is going to be good for a lot of you guys in the collective. Okay? Don't let nobody stop and block you. All right, it's your time to shine. And then you know they say when it's your turn, act a fool. And I ain't saying act a fool, y'all, as in literally act a fool, but show out, stand out. Like, <laughs> make yourself proud. Like, if anything, forget what other people say. Do what makes you happy, okay? Like, seriously, guys, like, the universe is giving you a chance to, um, I'm just gonna say it. Like, it's your time, it's your season, cut up, do what you want. All right. I love y'all. That is y'all reading. Um, if it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book, fireintuition.com. All right. I love you, fire fam. Bye.